platforms, but from like a B2B perspective, I think if you can incorporate, um, I wouldn't say edutainment, so it's education and entertainment, even taking like a quirky perspective on marketing that might be something, you know, antiquated. So like the internet marketing manager job, is there a way I can bring that into a script that might get somebody's attention, get them to kind of chuckle or laugh or be like, what? You know, and, and kind of get their attention that way. Um, you can actually incorporate humor and, you know, different perspectives into it that can actually get people's interest and then keep it longer as well in the videos. Yeah, so I think that's the key, isn't it? It's this edutainment kind of thing is where we've got to. What do we say? Yeah. We want to produce videos that entertain, motivate, uh, educate, entertain, and motivate. That's what we want to do. Yeah. So I think if you want to do, what do I think? I think, it, you know, where you are will inform your tone. You know, if you are producing medical equipment, then mm -hmm. clearly you don't need to be producing videos for TikTok and jumping up and down and dancing and things like that. So I think maybe the more technical and serious it gets, <laughs> the more technical and serious the tone of your videos needs to be. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't think people quite understand that people are searching for everything. You know, like they're searching for everything, you know, so... Yeah. I think it's important for people to know too, like this is why it's so important to know who your ideal customers are. So if you're targeting uh, Gen Zs, then you can't rule out TikTok because that's where most of them are spending time. Now you don't have to dance and sing while you're on the platform, but if that's where they're at, they're actually using TikTok as a search engine. Yeah. Now is the accuracy of the information they're getting in their search results, just like what you would see in Google? No, but the key point there is to see that they're actually using the platform as their number one go-to search engine. So if that's your target audience, even if you're a medical sales person, um, if you're wanting to um, recruit, you know, employees for your company, then your videos are going to be completely different than if you're doing like product demos or trying to sell them to different hospitals or doctors. But you might want to have some of those videos be on TikTok because that's where maybe your Gen Z employees are spending time. They don't have to be funny. They don't have to be entertaining um, because that type of environment may not be. Yeah. So it's just understanding them. Um, and you don't have to, you know, you can put serious type videos on TikTok. They don't have to always get people to laugh or want to pick up on a dance trend. Um, but getting their attention is obviously key. And right now, I know a lot of people still kind of rule out TikTok because they're just like, ah, it's just dancing and singing. But we're in the heart of TikTok right now. And there's like a, according to Gary Vaynerchuk, this, these are not my words, according to him, if, you know, anyone likes him as a visionary, um, you know, we're within a 24 month window of TikTok like blowing up. So if you're not on TikTok and you're, you just keep rolling it out and you're like, I'll wait and see what happens. If you wait too long, then you might miss out on the opportunities. So growth is happening there now. But if your audience isn't there and they're only on YouTube, then spend all your time on YouTube. Thank you for taking the time to check out this effective marketing clip. If you found this interesting and useful, YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy this one. And this is the latest thing that we've put together. If you haven't yet, and you could take a second to like, share, subscribe and comment, that will give us the motivation to continue on this epic journey.